Hi, I'm Dr. Mora, a naturopathic doctor. Continuing my gut series, and in this video, we're gonna talk about SIBO, or small intestine bacterial overgrowth. Now, if you've ever had really bad bloating, gas on a daily basis, constipation or diarrhea, this is the video for you. SIBO is a very underdiagnosed syndrome, and it's actually often diagnosed as IBS, and in fact, 85% of uh, IBS uh, patients will actually test positive for SIBO. What is it? So SIBO is overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. Now the small intestine has a little bit of bacteria in it, not as much as the large intestine where we, we think about that, that big microbiome, those two and a half pounds of good bacteria. The small intestine has far fewer bacteria they perform a lot of important duties, such as helping to digest food, you know, absorb nutrients, uh, keep that muscular movement of digestion going. So these bacteria are important, but when they start to overgrow, they create a lot of issues in the small intestine. So the main symptom that I see in my practice is really extreme bloating. The bacteria, when they're kind of very populous in the small intestine, they'll eat the foods that we eat, and they sort of start breathing off gases, and these gases tend to inflate the small intestine like a balloon. So that's one, one symptom of that. Uh, other symptoms that uh, we see of SIBO are constipation and diarrhea. The bacteria tend to damage the, the lining of the gut and the nerve endings there, which tend to dominate that muscular movement. So depending on what bacteria you have, uh, the motility will either slow down or speed up. Long-term SIBO patients will see nutrient malabsorption, such as low B12, which can lead to a whole host of issues. Uh, we see intestinal permeability as well as, as a big kind of side effect of, of SIBO. And as we said in previous videos, uh, leaky gut is associated with autoimmune disease, um, food sensitivities, and uh, general bowel discomfort. Getting the proper testing for SIBO is very important. The reason is that there are two different kinds of bacteria in the small intestine that we look for. One produce methane gas and the other produce hydrogen gas. And we treat them both very differently. So it is important to determine which bacteria you have. Sometimes people will have both. How does the test work? So the testing involves drinking an indigestible sugar such as lactulose. And as the, tr as the sugar travels through your small intestine, it'll start feeding the bacteria and they'll start breathing off gases. And so when we collect your breath, we're sort of measuring the amount of these two gases that are in the breath. Typically the test takes somewhere between two and three hours and requires a little bit of uh, fasting 12 hours before and a, a specific diet the 24 hours before. So it's a little bit involved, but of course it's extremely important to get the right diagnostics. Oftentimes I'll also run a stool test uh, for my patients to determine how well digestion is occurring um, and a few other factors. And we'll also do food sensitivity testing. But the main test to focus on is the breath test. There are a few different ways to treat SIBO. One is with conventional antibiotics called Zyfaxin, which acts only in the small intestine uh, to get rid of bacteria there. The second is the elemental diet, which is a liquid diet and basically tends to starve the bacteria so that symptoms are lessened and eradicated. Third way is with herbal antibiotics, which is what I use in my practice. Herbal antibiotics uh, have been shown in a recent study to be more effective than the conventional. I find that it varies from person to person. Uh, different herbals that we use are high-dose garlic, berberine, neem, oil of oregano, and you know, just treating with antibiotics is part of the picture. We sometimes also have to restore digestive function with enzymes um, or bile acids. Sometimes we might need to uh, put in some good probiotic down the line if, if the probiotic uh, count is, is quite low. Uh, sometimes we'll use biofilm disruptors, uh, like certain enzymes and NAC. So it really varies from person to person. Diet is a bedrock of everybody's treatment. Uh, different diets that we use are FODMAP, specific carbohydrate, um, and again, we remove food sensitivities. So the whole picture of SIBO is a little bit complex, but once we get the right treatment and symptoms are gone, people have an incredible uh, sense of healing. Once the gut feels better, as we know, 
uh, life is just better. So if you find that you're suffering from SIBO, then see your naturopath and get the right treatment going.